hey, there's only one thing that makes your dreams impossible to achieve and that is the fear of failure. This beautiful quote from Paulo Coelho serves as a foundation to my series on failure. Failure Stories, the series I've been running for a while now, was started with an intention to normalize failure so that those with a fear of failure can learn and understand from the stories I bring to them. As part of the series, I had candid conversations with two entrepreneurs in the digital world. Together, they help businesses, that is startups, SMEs, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, create sustainable businesses through their podcast, Be Impactful. Do subscribe to their channel. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. In this video, they share powerful personal journey on how they have overcome the fear of failure and surged ahead. So let's get started. Shiva and Vineet, thank you so much for coming over, giving me your time and also your willingness to share your failure stories. So, Happy to be here. So I want, to, I want to start off by uh, asking you to introduce yourself in 30 seconds or less. This is a challenge. So let's see if you can, can do it. So I, I'd like to start with Shiva. Why don't okay, you go my, ahead? My time starts now. Yes. So uh, I'm a marketing guy. I professionally help people with uh, building their content and uh, having their brand stories right to get out of the market they want. Personally, I love music. I love travel. I love photography and I love food. It shows on me. That's who I am. Excellent. How about you, Vineet? Hi, guys. I'm Vineet. I'm a community strategist, podcast host, paragliding pilot, and a marathon runner. So each incorporating a unique aspect into what I do today, helping companies scale with community. Wow, that was really good. All right. So I'd like to start off by uh, asking each of you to share the incident in your life that has impacted you the most. And what have you learned from it? 2018, July was when I quit the corporate and decided to become an uh, get into the entrepreneur or self-employment role. Up with a friend, we started one agency, we worked, we built that up and then I lost him in an accident. Went down the drain. All our work went off. And uh, after that, again, I was solo sometime before getting on with another person who was introduced to. We started up another agency January last year, 2020. Pandemic hit in March and it impacted our business and not just the business, but it impacted our minds and the way we think come unlock when it happened i found that my partner's uh, views had changed her approach to work the approach to this whole thing had changed and uh, so again that led to a little we said let's dissolve the partnership again before it, we figure out later for me this was like a hit after a hit which was a two success of it and i was thoroughly confused uh, january february i was lost as to what january to february this year 2020 2021 was where I was uh, confused, didn't know what to do. Uh, should I work solo? Should I partner with somebody? Should I go back to a job? What kind of a job again? Do I go back to IT where I was good at but didn't enjoy it? Should I look for a marketing role? What was it? So there's a whole lot of confusion. There were financial pressures. That's where that that I consider probably the most recent. And it's probably just in April and May is when I start getting clarity right. about what to do and how to go at it. Right. Right. If I could stay on the conversation with uh, you, Shiva, uh, Vineet, I will come to you in just a bit. Uh, but I'd like to understand, since he mentioned that, when you were confused and you said you had clarity around uh, April, May. So uh, in between this time, what are the things that actually helped you and what were you telling yourself to overcome the confusion and the state of um, stress and anxiety that you were in? But in the beginning, it was, when I was confused, it was... Uh, Am I even made for entrepreneurship? Made, am I made for business? And that was a big question in my mind. One of you being up and up, one of my friends, you are one of my friends, and I have a few others who are very good sounding boards for me. Zero judgment. I think I've used you folks a lot. One is sounding off, uh, changing. I, I change, I probably change my statements every time. But you guys, you're all stuck by me. And it's said that when things are just coming right, when the time is right, you get this one thing which triggers you off. And I don't remember it was on some social media or, or a WhatsApp thing, which just said that uh, the night is already passed. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up, it's the first thought you have, which will define how that day goes by. This, I probably, I remember reading this later. It was a very apt thing. I don't know. And that is probably what triggered it. I actually took an image, kept looking at it. And that started triggering a small change in me. 
saying that yes i did fail whatever reasons forget blaming the world forget blaming everybody let's start getting back to rebuilding again okay. so that's where i start getting back to basics what am i good at what makes me happy what do i want to work i probably uh, written 20 25 pages of different things i started writing so that 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 is one of the habits that you put me onto actually i used to think a lot but uh, you got me in the habit of writing putting down thoughts saying do i like these things then start prioritizing on what i like better what i like less stuff what comes to me naturally what do i have to train myself on that's helped me a lot in figuring out where i am as a niche today who are the people i'm going to help with and what am i going to help them with which is content strategy content development and marketing strategy very nice very nice so you spoke about rebuilding and i'll come back to you in a bit but let's uh, hear vinith story vinith over to you uh, could you share with us something that impacted your life and completely changed you so aparna my story is that I, it has been a roller coaster journey so the first time when i encountered this challenge was in was way back in 2007 when i was completing my graduation so i was not keeping well and i did not realize it from january 2007 onwards i had this allergic reactions and everything and i went to the dermatologist so dermatologist initially put me on anti allergics anti histamines and as the months progressed i was also on steroids i mean the worst case was like in the midst of it in one day i was taking nine tablets of steroids in a day all right that bad was my condition i did not realize it that time and in march 2007 i gave my final year college university exams and i was not able to clear it so that time i was literally in a shock because i knew that i am a good student not a very uh, you know uh, academically bright student but i am a good student and i catch hold of thing and it was easy to uh, get through but it was simply uh, the first failure which actually stuck and uh, the challenge happened is that my parents uh, my dad was transferred from mumbai to delhi and i had to stay back in mumbai to uh, prepare for my october exam and mentally it was very distressing uh, as uh, shiva mentioned in his story that something came up so i was in my college attending the college festival and i found this book its name was uh, no excuse sir all right in that one specific head uh, uh, i mean uh, quote caught my eye it says no whining no blaming no moaning no complaining take charge of your life you won't feel victimized so that was like the strength and then possibly two months down the line while uh, i was roaming in matunga and on the streets i saw this book tough times never last tough people do by robert shuler so i picked up that book also from the footpath so these were the initial two books and a lot of quotes from them which helped me get through so finally i gave my october exam and i was able to clear i did not get a uh, first class which is 60% i had like 58 or 59% something of that sort but mentally i was not in a position to prepare for the exam for the third time and then give to get a better academic score so i made peace with it and that that that's where the thing started begin and just to continue uh, in uh, february 2008 i woke up in the morning and suddenly i realized that i am feeling unconscious and i cannot lift my hand or leg up and that was the stark realization that you are really not keeping well you move on before uh, breakfast i used to eat medicine after breakfast medicine before lunch medicine after, i mean my life was roaming around medicines and that's the time i took charge i was like this is the life which i don't want to live i have been an active person and that's how i picked up marathon running so first half marathon i ran was in 2008 and from that time every year i run one marathon a year started with half so i ran four half marathons and then graduated to full so it's been like good 8 9 years since i have been running full marathon last year was pandemic so i just did a 21k at max during my prep but that's how i've been uh, going through so in my professional career running marathon has actually kept me on track and preparing for it and and it's an annual cycle so post monsoon i'll start and prepare for the january run then i'll go lays out go into rest mode again then uh, uh, sign up for it and that's how my cycle is continuing so this is the whole and soul part of it In excellent short. yeah 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 uh, it's a wonderful uh, share vini thank you so much i want to pick up one thing that you said right and which is very very important for the way we uh, conduct ourselves or behave uh, ourselves with and that word uh, or the phrase that you used is made peace with it so um that is an incredible way of moving on uh, 
uh, it's an incredible way of letting go what is sort of pulling you back so uh, when you were in that frame of mind vinith um, how did you come to terms to make peace with it because it's not an easy thing right when you are down in dumps and when you are uh, uh, you know there are so many things that your mind is telling you majority of them are negative to come to terms with where you are and to come to terms of accepting yourself completely and making peace with it is itself an incredible achievement so could you tell us a little bit about what helped you move into that direction of making peace with it with whatever your situation is etc so frankly speaking whatever done is done whatever done in the past is over whatever results i have got is like there whether it is right wrong good bad that is something which is there now the fact is either i can fret over it or you know get into that negative spiral which i have been a lot of times i'm not saying that i haven't been it's like you get your mind into control so you make peace with it and then start working towards the betterment of it there would be something better when you come through it so it's like you move a little you take start taking the baby steps and after a while you realize that you are much ahead of that uh, situation which you were and then you pick yourself up and make a move excellent excellent so i'll come back to you shiva um about the word you use which is rebuilding so you said you had clarity and you are now on a path to rebuilding uh, and i'm sure you'll be encountering a lot of your past right so yeah. a lot of demons of the past that always hang on our heads right so what are you doing in terms uh, other than the writing down bit what are you doing to control that so definitely have the demons of my past coming up it's it, that happens uh, multiple times i have got into the practice of meditating every day and uh, for 10 minutes i do two things it it works i it, there's no secret mantras there's no secret chants nothing but it's just in my mind to say that to whoever has harmed me intentionally or unintentionally i forgive you and take and take that effect away and literally i've been doing this it's it's not that it works the first time this has been over the past 4 months the smaller demons are out the larger demons are on the way and the second is of course to there are people i've actually called up and thanked people have stood by me i've forgotten or or at that time i didn't realize of people who stood by me. so these these are two things i found good in terms of especially driving away those demons it yeah was, similar to what vinith has said you know you're making peace with whatever it is tell me about how you guys met each other uh, me and shiva we met at the co-working space where he came over post his corporate avatar we clicked and last year when i was not able to get uh, uh, consulting assignments regularly for myself shiva was not able to get consulting assignment for himself as we uh, reached out to our individual clients and together also pitched to a few clients i put out this idea why don't we do a podcast together for a simple reason we share the same pitch or similar pitch with every client why don't we productize it and put it out as a song let's see what happens all right and november 2020 is when the idea started feb 2021 is actually when we launched ideally we could have launched in december because ke acha idea mil gaya we are in sync but things went on we cannot do anything first season was done uh, in the month of april uh, by may and we were supposed to launch season 2 pandemic second wave was on we couldn't do anything and yesterday we launched our first episode so you can say so i made peace with it theek hai time lag raha it's okay nothing can be done about it. that's nice we need so what is the thought process this, this is my final question okay what is the thought process that you had in creating the podcast uh, with the name that it has it's like be impactful there's a bumble b uh, and uh, the whole lot of creative that goes around is very eye catchy and for for uh, people who are uh, watching today i will provide the link to that podcast in the description so you can actually check it out but uh, what is the thought process behind this creative it is really catchy so i'll i'll tell 50% of it the 50% is uh, shiva has learned marketing strategy hands on i have learned community building hands on and i understand that community building is a subset of marketing strategy all right since the clients were not willing to pay us for strategy and then execution we are like might as well start so this idea was floated and shared i had no clue what the uh, name of the podcast will be what kind of topics which we would cover we we knew we had a broad idea but that is something which was like totally out of uh, my context and then when i shared it shiva got excited and then he was inspired by the bees and i will let him continue the story from here okay so be impactful is basically the b is the be of 
B and uh, the E of impactful. And again, impactful is a word we created. Impacts are impacts with empathy. What what people are talking about? Uh, are we creating an impact? Are we creating an impact here? Are we creating an impact there? And what's required today is empathy. Are you actually empathizing with the other person? And okay. you want to create an impact, putting yourself in that person's shoes. Are you doing that? Are you doing things just for the sake of doing it without trying to see what do I get from it? So we said people need to be creating impacts with empathy. So the word was that. And the story is that bees do a lot. Yes, they, they do. Yeah. Uh, the bees stop collecting honey. You can forget uh, pollination. You can forget the greenery. You can forget life. That's right. simply what it is. And they are not bothered about it. They're just doing their job. Yes. I'm saying with that one statement, can we also start becoming, okay, we're not going to become bees, but can we start doing things without trying to see, okay, what is in it for me? Just do it. And which is our own story. We have put our complete strategy out there mm. in the podcast. Listen to it. Use it. You want to help, reach out to us. That's all you have. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much for your uh, shares, your incredible journeys that you had. And of course, uh, the second season of podcast that is going to be launched, that has just been launched. Right. So I'm looking forward to being part of it as well. So here's wishing uh, Be Impactful and Shiva and we need both of you a very successful season of uh, Be Impactful. The theme that you're having, is, which is uh, sustainability of business or business sustainability. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Happy to be here. And thank you for having us on. Thank you for having us on, Aparna. That's it from us. If you have any questions for Shiva, Vineet or I, you can leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms or you can reach out to them in, the, in their podcast. The links are given in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, stay home, stay safe.